Now, I don't know about you at home, but during the holidays, I did uh, absolutely zero cooking. So it's good to be back on our first show in the kitchen with uh, Chef Cohen. And he's promised me that after much rest that he's received yes. over the holidays and a good tan. Uh, <laughs> and none of all of us get a rest over the festive period, I'm not going to lie. So true that, true that. just carries on. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I think a good recipe to start off with uh, for the year. I mean, why, why did you decide on this particular one? Um, this particular recipe is one from our East Coast Table recipe book that Paco is involved with. Yeah. Okay. But it's Mrs. Naga Naidu's meatballs, spicy meatballs. Lovely. And they are okay. delicious. I actually made these um, during the festive season, so they're quite good. Fantastic. So, what do we need to make these? Well, today we're going to need lemons. Okay, cool. A little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. Some Paco curry chilies. Okay. Uh, crushed garlic. We got onions coriander, egg to bind, mm -hmm. and a little bit of turmeric to add a nice fragrant note to it. The biggest avocado I've ever seen in my life. Bro. It is one of those wow. Durban avos. We've just we got those lovely butter avos in Durban and they yeah. are delicious. Okay, cool. All right, what else do you have over here? And then we've got more Paco curry chili. Mm -hmm. um, because the chili goes quite nice with the lamb using that, but this uh, this is a sauce, the Clint's Avo sauce, which is also in the recipe book. Okay. Um, and this goes delicious with fish. All you have to do then is change the, the curry chilies with the lime pickle. Okay. So it's a nice substitution, and the lime really does wonders for the fish dish. Brilliant. Lemon juice and garlic clove. What we're going to do is we'll start with our meatballs. Thank you. If you want it to be, let's say, slightly healthier, could you even opt for, let's say, ostrich mints? The ostrich mints Less indeed fat. would work, yes, 99% fat free. Um, chicken as well, if you wanted to. What else? Oil in next. Olive oil goes in here next. There we go. Catch that. Beautiful. Chopped onions. We, we chopped the onions beforehand. Just it makes the whole uh, processing point a lot easier. Then trying to drain a whole onion and then waiting for it to blend down where everything else is really... Okay, cool. Am I just messing all over? It's a little bit. You know what? It's okay. It's part of the cooking experience, I say. There goes my New Year's resolution. <laughs> <laughs> what is your New Year's resolution, by the way? I'm not one I'm going to keep again, so... <laughs> I'm being honest about it. All right, cool. Some garlic. Garlic. Lovely. Would that be a whole clove of garlic? Yes, it's actually okay, cool. two or three. All right. The more the merrier, yes. I always say, when it comes to garlic. Now, here is where it gets spicy. Bring oh. on the heat. Yes. And but what's nice about pickled curry chili, the curry chili that we're using today, is that it's not just heat. Because they've been in you know, our pickling process, they've got all those other aromatic flavors. Ah. So there's coriander, there's um, turmeric, there's all those other base nuts that are coming through. Now, so Beautiful. It's a full flavor. Okay. So we go in with it? Coriander. Boom, there it goes, okay. It almost seems natural when you're doing Indian mm -hmm. food. And egg to bind. Okay. How much of an egg is that? It's about one. It's that was a like very this. small egg. Yes. Quail egg. <laughs> Those chickens I we did over Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> all right, some turmeric, right? Yes, and that's it, not too much. Well, put that all in, that's okay. weighed carefully because turmeric can be quite bitter if it's, um, oh, yeah. if it's added into a large dosage. And that's where you get that real ah, Indian feel. Here we go. Some muscle. Yeah. Okay. Let's let it go. Let it go. Let there it you go. go. There you go. There you go. Um, what kind of consistency are you looking for here? Um, all combined. And there we go. Yep. Does that look good? Crack it open. Look. And take a look. Fantastic. Lovely. Okay. So how do we make the balls? So the just balls. Water on the spoon. Mm -hmm. A little bit of water in my hand. This is going to prevent it from sticking. Grab it. Yes. Into my hand. Washed earlier. Don't worry. It's almost like a sushi making business. It is like a sushi. You gotta keep your hands moist so that it's Three stick hands out. on. Just like that? Yeah, that's just like that. You've and then how long on each side? Five to seven minutes on either side. Five to seven minutes on either side. Okay, yeah. cool. Obviously, depending on the size oh, of your mean. meatball as well. Okay. Yeah. So I think let's do two of those and let's get to the sauce. So let's put those in and then let's do one more. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's, it's, okay. It's a really nice dish. I think everyone at home is already getting hungry, their mouths are watering, so let's get to that sauce and let's see let's, yes. what happens at the okay, end. Okay, so cool. I am going to now grab this with the side. In goes our, our ginormous abo. Wow. There Actually, I think I'm only going to need half of this thing because... Okay, yeah, it's, yeah, it is, it's massive. One that is the size of your average. There we go, that cool. there. Going with the... Garlic. More garlic. Lemon juice. Lovely, ooh. Great and flavor profile. Mm -hmm. It'll be really nice, fresh and zingy. And by the way, if you've just tuned in, we are making Mrs. Naga Naidu's uh, spicy... L lamb kebabs. Lamb kebabs. Now, you SMS the keyword PACO to 33728 and you'll receive not only the recipe, but as well as the ingredients list that you can get from your nearest pick and pay to, uh, yeah, for you so, to... There we go. <laughs> to get. Now we get blending. Yes. Okay. 
and cacophony of noise. We've got the blender going, we've got the frying meatballs. It's, it's just a party. It's almost like a preview to some good food coming your way. <laughs> yeah, that looks so good. Man. Very simple. So, uh, what's nice about having the lemon juice in the avo is that it's going to stop. I have this here for you. Thank you very much. It's going to stop the avo from browning as well once you plate it up. So please. Oh, okay. So, so lemon juice helps preserve the avo yes. a little longer. So it helps prevent the rusting okay. process. Get in here, in. Yo! Woo! Is that a big punch of flavor for you? Oh wow! I need to put a little bit on. The it's bowl. good though. Okay. And it's you, little artiste. As I get to say, because I'm the chef, yes, I'm prepared earlier. <laughs> so I'm just gonna plate this up. Okay, I'm gonna take our meatballs off the heat for now. Yes. And uh, put them over here. So we can concentrate on what's going on here. Take okay. those up. That, sir, is just looking magnificent. We finish it off with some lovely coriander. Fresh coriander. In the background, just to give it some life. And it's a nice little light meal to start off the year with, you know? Now, we're not letting go of old traditions, of course. The proof is in the taste. I'm gonna get one of these in here. And uh, if we could just get a little bit of that, that sauce. I'll get some full sauce for you, yeah? Right, right over here on the top. Go for the full experience. Please do, please do. Don't hold back, don't hold uh, back. Give me just a little bit more. Sorry, me being stingy. Hmm. Mm. Oh. Uh. Oh! Shout out to Mrs. Naga. Mrs. Naga, you're the woman. Oh! So good. In the recipe book. It's in the recipe book. It's in the recipe book. And you can also SMS the keyword PACO to 33728 and you'll get sent that right, new, right to your phone and then you can try it out at home. Yes, you can. So, as always, thank you very much. I'm not going to shake your hand. I'll shake your hand with them. Please, I mean, I can take my hands on that as well. <laughs> Stay tuned, lots more to come. Yeah. And get a bit more of this. Spice up every brie with delicious Paco sauces.